yo, 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 what's poppin' YouTube? It's your man Billy Buckets, aka Billy Go, aka Mr. Buckets and Bass, man. You already know the good one. And today we doing another how-to video. But before we get into the video, quick little video, y'all make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you new, man. Make sure y'all turn on the post notifications so you can check these videos out, get your views up. Y'all helping me out by getting these likes and these subs up. I'm helping y'all out by getting y'all this valuable information. And today, this video is going to be on how to paint. How to do your trim work without using painter's tape. You know, a lot of people, when they're doing, when they're painting, they try to use painter's tape so they won't get too close to the ceiling or they won't get too close to the trim. So I'm gonna show y'all how to, what I call, cut out a room. As you can see, some people call it trim out, some people call it cutting out. As you can see, my dad, he already rolled it. He got the roller, he rolled up as far as he can go without touching this white trim right here. Uh, crown molded. We, we don't wanna get the brown on the crown molded. So what a lot of people do, they'll put painter's tape up to keep from hitting the crown molded, which is right here. But for me, I know how to, cut a room out without using that painter's tape because that painter's tape it takes too much time so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna show y'all the secret yeah a lot of people don't know some people may know it but i'm gonna show y'all the secret to being able to paint going that trip doing that trail without getting on the white i'm gonna tell y'all the secret okay bring that so i'm gonna show you first of all the secret one thing you gotta do hold your brush like you hold a pencil it makes it easier for you. It makes it easier for you. Hold your brush like you're holding a pencil. Now, the next thing you want to do here, what a lot of people don't do. Most people, when they're doing trim work, come on, son, son. They're doing trim work, they start right here where they want to work it, where they want to paint it, and then they try to move their brush. But see, when you do that, they end up getting it on the part they don't want to get it on, which is this part here. So the secret is, to start right here before you get to the spot where you want to actually paint it. What you do is put pressure. You see that? Put pressure on those bristles. You see when I put pressure on those bristles, the bristles spray it out. See, if you start right here and you put pressure on your bristles, spray it out, the bristles spray it out, you're going to get on the crown motor what we don't want. So what you do is you start right here. Because when you move your brush, your brush is going to automatically spray it out. So that's the key. The key is to start in a spot before you really want to paint it. It's a paint on your brush. You start here. Put a little pressure. Spread those bristles. Now you know how far your bristles spread out. Now all you got to do is just keep them straight line. Same thing on this one. That. Show you again. Start before where you actually want to paint it. Spread those bristles out. Now you know how far they're going to spread. Now you just keep it straight line. Same thing this way. See that? I'm going to get those bristles spread out. Go again. Same thing. Start here. Spread those bristles out. And I can get close to it. Get close to it. Get close to the crown molding without actually getting it on there. You want to make sure you do your good, good thick coat. You're really supposed to do this before you roll it, but I went here. My dad started working, so he just went ahead and got started. And just speed it up some. Once you get used to it, you can speed it up. There you go. Now you got the paint on the crown mode, not on top of it. Now everything smooth, you got your paint where you want it at, not where you don't want it at, which is right here. So that's the secret guys. All you gotta do once again, 
Put fresh on that brush. Make those bristles spread. Now you know how far your bristles are gonna go. You just stay on a straight line. All you gotta do. Until the next time, man. Y'all make sure y'all have a good day, man. Everybody, once again, y'all hit that like button. It's always good to teach y'all stuff, man, for the guys that don't know, for the guys that do know. This is a refresher course on. Y'all leave comments down in the comment section about what y'all think. If y'all have any tips or something that I may not know. You know what I mean? But until the next video, man, 